Hello makers, I'm Joe the 3D Maker Noob and today I want to answer a question that many of you have asked me. Some of you have suggested how do I get rid of salmon skin effect on 3D prints? The other question was if I use TL smoothers would that remove the salmon skin effect? Well I've tried a few TL smoothers and I'm here to give you my results. You might remember this vase. I printed this vase on the TiVo Little Monster. It's printed in PETG and while the print is absolutely great, uh, you can definitely the salmon skin effect that the drivers of the Little Monster leave. Now I actually really like the Little Monster. It's a machine that I still have that prints almost every day because it's ridiculously fast. However, I cannot give it anything to print which is large for customers because I do not want that salmon skin effect and many of you have suggested that I should try investing in TL smoothers. Now coincidentally uh, Triangle Lab from China reached out to me and said listen we have a list of products is there anything you would like to test out and as soon as I saw TL smoothers I said aha TL smoothers. So they went ahead and sent me these. Now these are four diode TL smoothers and the package comes with this little plastic sleeve. It comes with a ribbon cable to actually attach it to the uh, to the main board and plug. So there's no soldering involved. You just plug and play basically. Now before I plug these in, what I decided to do was slice a simple calibration cube and a spin vase by Devin Montes. I threw in some filamentum um, gold happens and I decided to print them. The idea was to have a flat surface and a round surface, a curved surface better, and see exactly the effects. And as you can see next to each other, the semi skin effect is very, very prominent. So that was actually a very good baseline for me to start off with. So what I did then was I installed the four diode smoothers and I reprinted the parts. This is where I was kind of disappointed because while yes, the salmon skin was slightly reduced, it was actually slightly reduced. I mean, I can still see the salmon skin effect. When it comes to the feel, it's not as prominent as without the TL smoothers, but I it wasn't anything impressive to be completely honest. So what I decided to do is I did a bit of research online and I noticed that a lot of people use eight diode TL smoothers. So I went on to AliExpress, I found the Triangle Labs online store and I purchased some eight diode TL smoothers. Once again, the package comes with plastic sleeves, cables, no soldering required, you just simply plug and play. I grabbed the same files, the same filament, same parameters whatsoever and I decided to reprint and this, this is where things became really impressive. The salmon skin effect almost completely disappeared. Now if I look really close enough or really hard I can possibly make out some salmon skin details but very faintly and I really have to look hard for them. So. Honestly speaking, I was completely blown away. This gave a new life to my TiVo Little Monster and I am extremely happy with that result. However, I decided to go a step further and I decided to do my own a diode TL smoothers. Once again, I went online, I did some research, I found the diodes that most people use, I got some uh, prototyping board which which I had, I got some cables, I got some connectors and I put them all together and yeah they came out looking half decent. However the problem is that when I installed them and I printed it the results were very disappointing and to be completely honest it's almost as if I did not have TL smoothers installed. It's kind of in between not having TL smoothers and having the four diode TL smoothers. Now, before you flame me in the comments, I possibly could have used the wrong diodes. I'm quite sure I wired them correctly. I tried both polarities, same effect, which is why I didn't print another vase because you know, the results spoke for themselves. So yeah, I decided to give up on them. To be completely honest, even if they did work flawlessly as the Triangle Labs TL smoothers, unless you have everything available at hand, it's not really worth the hassle because to buy the prototyping board, the cables, the diodes and everything, not to mention that if I didn't have a soldering iron or solder, I would have either had to go through borrowing one or buying one. So basically to do three TL smoothers myself, 
I spent possibly about 20, 25 bucks in total with postage and everything. These were like 15 bucks for a set of three. So it wasn't even worth the hassle, but I really wanted to try it out. And it took me possibly about an hour and a half, two hours to do three of these. Now for the little monster, you do need three because of it, well, it's a Delta. For other printers like the um, the Tornado, you might only need them for the X and Y axes. However, personally, I suggest why not just go for the three axes straight away. And that is basically it. Do TL smoothers work? Well, yes, they do. I don't know if they work with every single printer. I know that TiVo uses particular stepper drivers um, that create the salmon skin effect. Um, so I can definitely say that with TiVo, these definitely, definitely improve printing quality. So yes, do I recommend these if you have a TiVo Little Monster or a TiVo Tornado? Yes, definitely I do. That is it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I will leave links to, well, all the TL smoothers that I have in the video description below. In the meantime, as always, share comment, subscribe, and as always, happy making guys.